What's up my friends, Mr. Kibi here. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. If you are a returning subscriber, you are the OG. My name is Mr. Kibi. I'm currently showing you the beautiful country of Kenya. You may have seen on the news that Kenya has been on the headlines for the wrong reasons. There have been massive protests, killings and abduction as people were agitating for the removal of the finance bill 2024. The protests are sub as, uh, subsides for some time, so let's go to the city and get to see the aftermath of how the protest was like. I'm coming live from the beautiful Allsops area, as you can see this highway. But meanwhile, let's go to the city. guys we are still in Nairobi city assessing how the damage was on my background is Nairobi city county as you can see so let's get to see the journey uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah so guys those that was one of the photographers yeah, uh, I would say content uh, creators. Yeah, so let's get to see the Supreme Court. So guys, let me get to show you where the street that we are in. We are at Mama Angina Street. So on my background, that the building that you've just seen, that is the county assembly of Nairobi that was burned and destroyed. I would say this is one of the most uh, beautiful streets within Nairobi. That's why you're able to see so many photographers. I think I, we can use this route to go. We are trying to get and uh, follow the procession that uh, the protesters used when uh, they were defending the country and wanting to fight for the rights, especially about the finance bill. I'll get and share some of the videos that uh, happened. So these are some of the graffitis. That's the name of our president, uh, William Ruto. Yeah, you can just, you can just film. 
So guys, I think they should now be named the headquarters of content creators here in Kenya, especially the TikTokers. So let me get to show you how the dancing looks like. Yeah, so for those who've been uh, wondering about Kenya, where is Kenya? So Kenya is a country in East Africa. It has been an epitome of peace for many years given that it borders countries that has always had conflicts like Sudan, Somalia, the South Sudan, yeah, even uh, at some point uh, Uganda. So Kenya has always been that uh, bigger brother that gets to amend those kind of conflicts. So it was really surprising to get to see that a country that has always had peace uh, going into chaos. So this chaos has been uh, going on for close to a month now. Yeah, the, the, it always equivalent to terrific Tuesday. It has always been on Tuesday and on uh, and on Thursday. Yeah, so there are so many areas that they go to destroy, especially the Parliament of Kenya. I wanted to get up to show you that, but there were heavy military and GSU, General Service Unit officers who are in uh, there. So I didn't get a chance to get and uh, show you, but at least I'll be able to show you a glimpse of some of the buildings that were destroyed. So right now I think we can go to the Uhuru Park and get to see how the situation is. Because that's one of the places that uh, I like going whenever I'm in Nairobi. The road that we are crossing now is called Uhuru Highway. Uh, this is the expressway. Expressway is like the motorway. So if you want to cross direct to the airport, that is the road to use. I'm just thinking that's where they may have uh, used to enter this uh, beautiful park. But uh, nonetheless, we are going to make good of the situation. Yeah, so too bad we may not be able to enter this park because I'm also seeing heavy military on uh, my front. But let's get a uh, risk and see. Maybe we can be able to get a, a glimpse of the same situation. Yeah, so the president of Kenya has called for uh, a ceasefire. The main uh, bone of contention was that we wanted rejection of the finance bill 2024 which we have all been uh, granted but however because the president has always been accused of uh, lying when he's not lying he's flying so that's why we are not really sure whether it's true what he means
if uh, you may have noticed the streets in uh, Nairobi are named after uh, names of people actually I think those are the people who were fighting for the independence like uh, you see Kenyatta Avenue then there is uh, where we are right now is called Muindimbingu Avenue yeah so the other thing that you may have noticed with Nairobi is that there are so many photographers I would say uh, content creators which is a great thing because given that it's really hard nowadays for you to uh, get a job so being able to create your own job is something that should be highly uh, recommended I think also that's something that even the government should also consider that's why you could even call for an, a protest on a Monday or Tuesday and uh, the, the place is fully packed by uh, protesters majority of them uh, being the youth so if those youth were given some source of employment you at least they cannot be able to have those kind of unrest so I wanted to show you an example of a building that was uh, burned during the protest like uh, this one I think this is a uh, Uganda house I don't know what did Uganda did to the government of Kenya or the, to the protesters to a point that they had to burn such a building Yeah, so at some point there were the police, the Ugandan police, who had come to, I think, to give us support to the Kenyan police, given that the unrest had not been uh, planned. So I think maybe the youth were not really ha happy about the situation. That's why they had to burn the Ugandan house in. in yeah, so that is a nation house. And then on my right is a Supreme Court. This is, we don't pay. It's free. This thing yeah. is free. Uh -huh. Tea, 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 tea. This thing is free. Mm -hmm. uh, it's this okay. It's free. Uh -huh. it's every Sunday, mm -hmm. we usually do dance challenges. Mm -hmm. We usually they promote our artists. Even if an artist out there, uh -huh. wanna come, mm -hmm. come support us. You can come. Mm -hmm. um, it's free. Oh, it's free. And governmental. Uh -huh. Uh, you yeah. mentioned that they are street children. Yeah, they are okay. street children mm -hmm. here. Usually give them fair. Yeah, okay. Water to come here and just dance with us. No, beer, it gives them the free of mindset here. Oh, yeah, sure. Free need. Beer, it's a body exercise. So, it's every Sunday. Every Sunday, he at this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are other places that maybe No, 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 no. We are, this is this, this, this where we started. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, this is like the uh, one year and a uh, half. One year and a half. Year and half. Yeah. 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 Every Sunday for one year. Every Sunday. Yeah. So okay. One year. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Not getting to a two years and thank God for the street mm -hmm. Thank God for mm -hmm. the county city council. Thank for mm -hmm. the for giving this place. Because even he knows usually here. Oh, you can't yeah. Yes, no, mm -hmm. here. So it's a public thing and people enjoy it. Even but even you can even get like sponsors coming, oh, coming video okay. casing, mm -hmm. coming doing like um mm -hmm. Mark Depeche show 
songs. Yeah. yeah. So it's all about dancing to help the youth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if someone wants to check uh, this dance, where can I can I be able to get so, it? So are you on social media? Yeah. On social media, we are Nairobi Street Five. Mm -hmm. Nairobi Street, Street Five. Five for all the social all media platforms. platforms. Yeah. TikTok, IG, mm -hmm. YouTube, mm -hmm. Twitter. Mm -hmm. yes. Nairobi Street Five. Nairobi Street Five. Uh, so you are self, are you a dancer? I'm a dancer. <laughs> okay. You, a dancer. Is there a specific genre of music that you get to dance? Um, to me or to Nairobi Street Five? Uh, maybe both. Generally, yeah. We, both, we do everything. Right now, we're doing lingala. Oh, lingala. Fusion. Yeah. As you can see, the teachers mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. and basically, we got other video, um, choreographers here. Mm -hmm. I'm a videographer as well. Oh. He's a videographer. He's oh. a videographer. Oh. Basically, here, uh -huh. this what we call a maintenance program. Oh, maintenance. Yeah. Program. We got people who can take the videos. I take the videos. Mm -hmm. um, let me stand for videography in the street. Right? Even we take the videos and upload them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So here, there's a maintenance. So oh, we can't. Nice. You, you won't find things just going this, just going like without any arrangement. No, yeah, we have arrangement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if there's a sponsor out there, they can be able to check out Nairobi. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can reach and, out uh, there. Hit you guys up. Yeah. Very nice. Hey, Sub man, they just contact. To give you. They will deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all about entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do attend functions like weddings. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did. We did oh. one with the um, with the government. Mm -hmm. It was Youth Connect. It was mm -hmm. about. Um, to connect to, you to connect in the I mean? Yes. Wow. He's a guy. <laughs> Welcome, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Tell, yes. tell them about. Yeah. The Maybe you can come this way. You can come this because of the sun. Thing about? Mm -hmm. Youth Connect. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say Youth Connect. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah youth yeah. Connect. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kevin Wekesa, mm -hmm. but people here call me King Sakwa mm -hmm. because they believe I'm the only king in the street. I don't mm -hmm. know. They, they, they say. Yeah, the, the king only, of the street. I'm the only king in the street. <laughs> yes. So, uh, welcome to Nairobi Street Vibe. This is the place where everyone should be every Sunday from 2 p.m. Every yeah. Sunday. Yeah. About the trail, Youth Connect. Youth Connect was last year, mm -hmm. 20, 2023. 2023. Uh, December. December mm -hmm. uh, we were at KSCC for three for the whole week, the whole week. four days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we got opportunity to perform on the stage, we got opportunity to hype the people on the stage, mm -hmm. even the president, even the mm -hmm. vice president, uh, mm -hmm. the uh, Kenya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a very huge experience we had there. So Nairobi City Club is the place to be. If you need an entertainment, you need a, a raw entertainment. Come here at Nairobi City Club, hook up us. Uh, uh, you can text us on Instagram, or TikTok, on uh, our social media handles. Nairobi you can tell them, Vibe. You can tell them they are social yeah. media handles. TikTok, Nairobi Street Vibe. Uh, Instagram, Nairobi Street Vibe. YouTube, Nairobi Street Vibe. Mm -hmm. And also, mine, King Sakwa. King Sakwa. King Sakwa. King Sakwa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah sure, sure. And I'm single. Uh. <laughs> it's okay. Is there an age limit? That's no, no, there's no age limit. Seven or six year old can come. Everyone and... is welcome. Even a 50 year old is welcome to, to learn. We teach. We don't. Uh, uh, can I speak in Swahili? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, hey, sorry, emergency. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, apart to Nakarbisha Kilam say, okay. I despite your age, I'll go 50, I'll go 10. Yeah. And it's free. It's free. We sure. big shout out to our governor. Uh, Sakaja for allowing us to shoot in town. Mm -hmm. So why not giving uh, free, free, free talent, free skills yeah, yeah. To, to, to people? So, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Karibu sana, karibu sana, karibu sana. Thank you. Thank you. sana. Uh, people of Kenya worldwide, when you wanna support, when you wanna like BG, when you wanna yeah. subscribe. Big shout out to you guys. We love you. Thank you, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Okay. Come
so on my background that's the beautiful Sarova Stanley Hotel I think it's one of the five star uh, hotels in uh, within the CBD that's the central business district of uh, Nairobi so I think now we are entering the downtown part of the city I am back home there was not really much to see today given that there was very heavy military presence within the CBD I wanted to get and show you how Uhuru Park looked like given the destruction that have been done military didn't allow us to go in also the parliament building it was off given that all the perimeter wall was just covered by the by the police or rather, rather, rather the military so that was out of bounds so i hope you get to enjoy this video i'll see you next time maybe in a place that is not having a lot of uh, military ciao guys